Hello everyone, this is uh, Shad Reyes from uh, Arch 2023. I'm really privileged today to be with uh, Kushal Chowdhury. He is a uh, first year uh, choreographer. for Kushal, so nice to be with you. Hi, Rafa. This is uh, Kushal Chowdhury. Uh, I'm a first year cardiology fellow at Downstate. Uh, and I'm very excited to be here. This is your first uh, time? This is my first time for this conference. Uh, actually, I met Dr. Singh mm -hmm. uh, in one of the conference at CRT, and that's when I got to know about this conference, and I spoke to a couple of my colleagues, nice. and they said, it's a great conference, you should go. That's why and I today, day come. two? Uh, this is a day two, yeah. correct. And uh, we, we watched some live cases, phenomenal Yes, I cases. did. Yeah. I, I, and those were like amazing cases, very interesting. Uh, a great learning experience, and it's, it's always good to see uh, different attendings yes. uh, who are like very pioneered in the procedures uh, and uh, and it's it's amazing to see how their thinking process is uh, so that you can build your own thinking process over it Absolutely. Uh, and try to because you see things in their book, book yes you yes. study in the book and correct, guidelines correct but the real life and how it's get illustrated is yes, completely different it's completely different yeah. absolutely uh, and and i have always been interested in intervention it just it's just a personal calling for me uh, because the the biggest reason why I got into cardiology uh, was uh, this whole journey started when I was probably nine year old uh, when my dad had an MI and that's when I uh, had like a really rough time and we had we had a tough time for in our in our family. Uh, luckily, he's doing great, but uh, but it was my uh, I decided back in those days that uh, I just want to be a cardiologist and an interventional cardiologist who can take care of. Uh, the, the patients uh, who okay. that would make a big difference in their life and right. family's life yeah. and that's how I came here and uh, and looking at these people doing great things uh, literally the procedures those uh, were thought probably would have been impossible and uh, they've been done and, uh, and it's it's a great learning experience yeah. so tell me about what makes you uh, choose interventional uh -huh. is it something that, that research the technology the the way you change things through um, catheter-based therapy. Uh -huh. So, what makes you choose interventional? So, first of all, interventional. Again, I, as I said, this was my personal calling. But something which I learned or which I love the most is the is the complexity of the procedures, like the use of equipments, advanced equipments, yeah. uh, the advanced therapies, like uh, the mechanical support devices, uh, which have completely changed the the way practice has been done sure. uh, and of course research uh, it's something which is uh, which is extremely important in the field mm -hmm. for the for the pioneering in the in the field itself uh, and over the period of time we have uh, completely gone from a to z uh, in a in a way that uh, we we can do the things which were thought impossible and that's all because of the research doable, yeah. yes yeah. so w tell me about the, as you know, the interventional cardiology fellowship uh -huh. is going to a match process. Correct. I think by the time you apply, yes, yes, this is going to be 2026. Yeah. Right. So, what do you think of that? Move? I think that's a great, great, great achievement by Sky, uh, and I really want to thank all the all the leaders in the Sky uh, what they have uh, achieved because. Previously, when I used to talk to my uh, senior colleagues, uh, they would say it's very stressful and it's very challenging. Exactly. But now I think it, they have eased up. And also at the same time, we kind of get more time because uh, for me, I had a very clear thoughts that I want to be an interventionalist. But few of my colleagues, they are still deciding in between like one of my colleagues, he would say, oh, I want to do intervention. But then he goes to EP. Uh, EP uh, rotation and he will be like oh I want to be an electrophysiologist yes. so you know things change and you need time to really decide and and pursue what you want to do uh, yes. in your life and I think this match it kind of gives us more time okay. uh, absolutely and it's also it's not uh, give you the pressure of making a choice right I hear a lot of stories from fellows you finish an interview Correct. two hours you get in a contract yeah and take it or leave it yeah one of my friend he had like like almost 10 interviews and unfortunately he had he got a contract on his second interview and he had a couple of amazing places where he actually wanted to go but under the pressure he kind of had to Dropped pick up the place which is not the right thing yes, uh, and i think uh, this process of match yeah. it kind of took up that pressure so that's that's great it's, it's amazing a, yeah it's yes, a great yes. uh, move as, as you said from uh, sky and other uh -huh. initiatives yes thank you for watching this video watch this one and others on youtube channel this is shadris from arch 2023 thank you so much thank you so much awesome.